at your sites, it is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome to week one of the playoffs of the NPBA. If you guys are excited for this and you want to show some support, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new. But uh, yeah, guys, so uh, this is the playoffs. Um, I know I told you guys we were going to have 10 weeks of the regular season, uh, but unfortunately, at the end of last week, it had really come to my attention that the hype for the league had died down quite. Um, a lot of the guys had been in the server for almost six months since I even since I was trying to get people to get in there, and since we drafted and everything like that. And there were a bunch of them that definitely lost a lot of interest in the league. And coming down to the end of last week, uh, my battle with Sewage Rat and the New York Noibats was the only ba battle that got done the entire week, right? And at that point, I was all ready to kind of just end it a little bit early, right? Take it back to the drawing board and, you know, figure out how to make things a little bit more professional for next season, which will be coming out at the beginning of next year, within the first one or two months. Um, but as soon as I, you know, put that message in into the server and was like, all right, guys, it looks like we're going to have to be done. A lot of the guys who still wanted to do it were like, hey, you know, let's just go right into playoffs. You know, let's go right into playoffs. Let's, you know, start this up a little early. And I was like, you know what? You know, if, if everybody wants to do that, then we can easily do that, right? And then the people who wanted to drop out could drop out, right? So we ended up losing three coaches. Um, however, the three coaches, so, funny enough, that, that we lost, didn't want to do it, had actually had the worst three, um, uh, the worst three like, the worst three... Oh, my God. What is the word I'm trying to think of? Had the worst three... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, scores in the entire league. So, they all, all three of them dropped out. And if we were just going off of the top six, like we were going to do, I still would have made it into playoffs at that time. Um, so, that was good. We're ending up doing top seven because there's only seven of us left in the league. One, the number one guy, Google, the one that we battled two weeks ago... He's getting a bye to the finals, and we're going to have three weeks of the semifinals, two weeks of finals, and then, uh, or we're going to have three weeks of playoffs, two weeks of semifinals, and one week of the finals. Now, I do not believe that we are going to be able to make playoffs, right? The only, or make, semi, make the semifinals. The only way for us to make the semifinals is if we win this week's battle, which is perfectly possible to actually be able to do um and but we will have to win this we'll have to win two of these in order to make semifinals and i don't know if we can do that or not so uh but but yes yeah, so this week we are going against a team that we actually already fought actually our week one battle was against him right it's against Karanikis and the Miami Magic Arps. Now, he's got a really, really threatening team and stuff that I'll go over in a minute. Um, but we were able to pick up a win week one against him. Now, it, it was week one, so that really doesn't matter too much. And he's on a win streak right now of winning a few battles. I think he's lost one in like the last three or four. So, he's on a little bit of a win streak. And... The thing was, is that week one, it's kind of all about figuring out your team in general, the first couple weeks. And we really threw him off by not bringing Zero Aura. And that was the big thing, was not bringing Zero Aura. And it really threw him off, and we ended up getting the win. However, we cannot take him for granted whatsoever. He's got an extremely threatening team, and... We could easily lose this one if we're not playing it the right way. But I want to bring some different strats. That way we can try to pick up the win uh, again and uh, try to do it. But I can't I can't let my guard down against him. And I can't let anything that happened in the first game determine how I play in this one. Right? Because we threw him off and he made a really bad play in the first one and lost Heatran. Which was huge. Right? And I highly doubt he's going to make a play like that again this time. I highly, highly doubt he will. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm actually going to throw it back to pass me. Um, and tell you guys about the team that he's bringing. Um, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You guys are gonna hear what, what, the same thing as I did week one, right? There's no point in me re-explaining his entire team. So, I'm just gonna cut to, uh, pass me and, um, 
yeah, talking about his team, and then we'll get right into the team building. Is this, right? Their team consists of Tapu Lele, Hydreigon, Seismitoad, Tangrowth, Lopunny, Clefiki, Clefiki, Clefki, Type No, Rotom Wash, Galvantula, Heatran, and Sigilef. Now, I am not too worried about um, Tapu Lele. I'm not too worried about the Hydreigon. What I am extremely worried about is the Seismitoad, right? Because apparently, I didn't realize this when making the team, but ground runs through our team. And I'm really, really nervous about the Hydreigon, right? Uh, Hydreigon, or I'm not nervous about the Hydreigon, I'm really nervous about the, the Seismitoad, right? I am almost guaranteeing that he's going to bring that mod, right? If he doesn't bring that mod, we, I'm going to be happy, but at the same time, I'm going to be blown away that he decided not to bring it since it's so good against my team, right? Uh, Tapu Lele, I'm not too totally worried about if they decide to bring Calm Mindset, it would not be great, but at the same time, you know, I'm not too worried about that. We do have some answers that, again, with Hydreigon, we also have plenty of answers to that one. Uh, Tangrowth, I am slightly worried about just because of how bulky it is. I do think that one's going to be coming as well. Um, it is, I feel like because he has Seismitoad, I have to bring, uh, because he has Heatran, I have to bring Gastrodon. And because of Gastron, me having Gastron, I feel like he has to bring Tank. So, because otherwise he doesn't really have anything for Gastron at all. So I feel like Tank Growth has to come. Uh, Lopini, I'm not too totally worried about that. Uh, that does end. I don't know if it gets Fake Out. I should probably check before the, the battle. Um, but I know it gets, you know, like High Jump Kick. I think it gets Drain Punch. You know, I'm not too worried about that, man. We have plenty of stuff for it. Klefki, I, um, he, he mentioned something about running, wanting to run... Uh, Giga Impact Clefiki. Clefiki. Why am I? I'm gonna keep calling it that for some reason. I don't know why. Clefki. And really, I'm not too worried about that per se because we do have two ghost types on our team. But um, that that could do a little bit of damage. We don't really have. We do have a fairy type. So if he decides to bring like Flash Cannon set or something like that, maybe that'll work. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. Type Null could be a little bit of an issue. It hits decently hard, and it's relatively bulky with the EVLA, or it's actually really bulky with the EVLA. But again, it is another normal type, and I'm not too super, super worried about that. Rotom Wash, I, he could bring it, but at the same time, I don't believe he would, right? Now, Seismitoad is not as good as it would be because he doesn't really have a Pokemon to set up Rain, right? Unless he runs Rain Dance, on his on one of his other Pokemon, I think Tapu Lele might get it. Uh, Seismitoad, I'm sure gets it. Um, the Rotom Wash, I'm sure gets it. So unless he brings sets up Rain Dance, um, really I, I don't have to worry about the speed of Seismitoad too much. But I don't believe he'll bring Rotom Wash. I really don't have the only Pokemon that's really good against is uh, Marowak. So he might bring it, but at the same time, if he brings Seismitoad, I don't think he would want to double up on Electric or er, Water types. Especially because I have Zero Aura, and Zero Aura would run right through Rotom Wash. Um, yeah, now Gavantula, I'm also not really worried about that. I don't really see that coming. I have a lot of answers to that. Heatran, I am almost guaranteeing is coming as well. Um, that thing is just um, absurd with in, in double battles. And I am very, very nervous about that as well. I could see it coming with Air Balloon. However, with Gastron, we don't necessarily have to run a ground type move to hit it. We can hit it with a water type move, even though ground would be, you know, better against it. But I could definitely see it running Air Balloon, uh, a bulkier, faster type to kind of outspeed Zara Aura because Zara Aura does get. Um, close combat, so I could see him running a, a, a either max speed or like fast enough to just outspeed Zero Aura. Um, and then we do have Sigilyph, which I again I'm not too too worried about Sigilyph. Um, that thing obviously gets run through by my team. Uh, it could it could come for double screens. Um, could come for like stored power maybe. I, I'm not totally sure. Again, I don't really see that coming. Again, really, the biggest threats here are probably the Seismitoad and the Heatran, um, especially the Heatran and the, yeah, especially the Heatran. But if I had to make a guess at what six book money is going to bring, I would say Tapu Lele, Hydreigon, Seismitoad, Tangrowth, Heatran, and then I could see maybe either Lopunny or Klefki. I that that's what I would say. I don't think he would bring Type Null when I have so many Pokemon that get Fighting Type. 
I don't think he would bring Rotom Wash unless he decides to set up Rain. If I don't see either the Seismitoad or the Heatran, I will be very happy, but I do have a good feeling that he's going to bring both of them. But that is his team. Um, very, very threatening. Okay, guys, so this is the team we're bringing against Karonikus and the Miami Magikarps against in our Week 1 battle of the MPBA Playoffs. So, uh, like I said at the beginning, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the... The big a big reason why we won in the first place was because we didn't bring Zero Aura, right? Really threw him off. He prepped for Zero Aura. So guess what? I'm gonna bring Zero Aura this week, and we're running a specially offensive one, right? Because he also told me that he ran physically defensive mons for Zero Aura. So why not run a specially offensive one that we've only done one other time this season and try to throw him off even more? And I think this would be a I think this is going to be really, really big, right? I'm running Thunderbolt, Aura Sphere, Grass Knot, and Fake Out with the Choice Specs with the Full Absorb. Um, Choice Specs, I think it's just going to be really good. I do have Fake Out on this thing. I don't know if we're going to end up using it or not. This thing would just be like a come in, Fake Out, so I can, you know, hit it with another Pokemon and then get out. Right? Uh, Thunderbolt is there for, you know, the Rotom Wash and, you know, a lot of other members of his team too that'll take some a lot of damage from it. Aura Sphere is there for mainly there for Heatran. It's also there for Lopunny too. We do outspeed almost every mod on the team except for like Choice Scarf Lele. Um, but yeah. But uh, yeah, so uh, I am Grass Knot is there f mainly for the uh, for the size of the toad, right? It also does a lot of damage to um, it should do a ton of damage to Rotom, but it won't be doing a ton, like a ton, it'll be doing a decent chunk, but it's mainly there for, uh, Seismitoad, and we always Oko Seismitoad, as long as it's not, um, <clears throat> Rindo Berry, <coughs> and it's not, like, max HP, max special defense, and a, uh, Assault Vest, right, which I don't think it would be, so this is thing is going to be KOing it, and as long as we make the right play, we can get that KO. But this thing is going to be huge, I really do think, and I really think if we save this thing for, like, the end of the battle, he's not going to have too much for it. You know, as long as, you know, he can run, um, you know, uh, Stomping Tantrum and, uh, Earth Power on his Heatran, so there is that, so we do have to worry about that as well. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really that big of a deal. We do have plenty of other Pokemon that can come in on a, you know, a Earth Power, you know, we do have Weed Whacker, we have Tinkerbell, Slimy Slime, don't take, doesn't take it super well, but it will, it will take it fairly well, <clears throat> but Weed Whacker and Tinkerbell, we do have both, uh, Pokemon that are immune to it, so that is, that's nice, so we don't really, I'm not really too worried, uh, we are running, you know, max special attack, max speed with a modest nature, um, with the remaining four in HP, um, hopefully this thing will be decently bulky, but I really want it to be fast and be hit really hard with the choice packs. Uh, because, you know, it is, most of the time it is a physical attacker. So, hopefully this thing will throw him off. But, yeah, the next one up on this list is Weed Whacker, guys. I kind of have to bring Weed Whacker again. Because this thing is, um, definitely a, a, uh, answer to Seismitoad. Uh, you know, if we don't have, and for his Rotom Wash, if he decides to bring it. Um, he did bring it last time. I was worried about setting it up, him setting up the rain, but he said he's not, when we battled him the first time, he did say he's not, he wasn't going to set up the rain, so I'm not really worried about him doing it this time, e anyways, so yeah, but uh, we are running Leaf Storm, Helping Hand, Ally Switch, and Trick with the Choice Specs, if I can trick the Choice Specs onto something like, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, something like the, like the Clef Key would be nice, or something like, Maybe the Lopunny or something that, you know, is a physical attacker, which would be nice. Or even, like, a more of a support mod. Because even, I don't even know if his Rotom would enjoy too much of a choice back. you know, just being locked into one move. So, yeah. And then Helping Hand and Ally Switch are there just as more of a support. But uh, this thing is mainly just there for Leaf Storm. I mean, what else is it? It's there. I mean, it's our answer to the side of So, I mean, we kind of need this thing um, healthy. Uh, I could run Pain Split, but, you know, I, I think it'll be good this way. Um, we are 
a modest nature, so we are max special attack and then 252 in HP as well, remaining 4 in speed. Uh, this thing doesn't really need to outspeed anything, it automatically outspeeds the Seismic Toad unless he runs like Choice Scarf, which I doubt he will, because I don't he'll invest anything in speed unless he does run Rain Dance. But honestly, since I don't think he's gonna, he's never been Swift Swim this season, so I doubt he's going to be outspeeding Weedwagger anyways. So that uh, that's what he's for, there for. Um, <clears throat> Slimy Slime, we are bringing Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Protect, and Recover with the leftovers and the Storm Drain. Now, um, I hopefully I don't regret not bringing a ground type move on Slimy Slime. Um, really, anything that it hits super effective with the with uh, Earth Power, it also hits super effectively with Hydro Pump, except for Clef Key, but we have other answers for Clef Key. Like, I'm not really too worried about that thing offensively. But uh, Ice Beam will be really good for the Hydreigon, which I do assume is coming again. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't, and I think Ice Beam would be nice to kind of throw him off. Um, because we didn't bring it last time. And then Protective Recover obviously is there, because we need to recover this thing. And then Leftovers. Uh, he has got a lot of decently faster mons than Slimy Slime, so being able to recover in the face of something would be nice. But again, we have to be careful because we don't outspeed a lot of stuff. And I think since he doesn't have really any answers to Slimy Slime other than Tangrowth, which he didn't bring the first time, so I don't know if he would bring it again this time. I'm hoping he doesn't, but if he does, you know, we also have a lot of other answers for Tangrowth, like Weed Whacker, Tinkerbell, James Hatfield. They all resist its grass type moves, so yeah. But uh, that's, you know, that's his set. We are running uh, another Modest Nature Mon with uh, max HP and max special attack with remaining 4 in speed. So this thing is just kind of get in there, stay, stay around for as long as I can, and then hit things super hard. Um, by the way, I just want to mention I'm really excited to use Gastron and Gastron BDSM. Uh, BDSP? BDSP! I should have said Billion Diamond and Shining Pro. Anyways, um, we're just going to skip over the fact that I just said that. Uh, I'm really, really... They knew what they were doing when they named it that. Come on, you cannot tell me that they were like, Oh yeah, let's name it BDSP. Because it sounds nothing like the other acronym. That means something totally different and not kid-friendly. Anyways, I'm super excited about using it in those games because I have... It's been a long time since I played through a Gen 4 game and used a Gastrodon. And since I, it's been a long time since I played through a Gen 4 game in general, and um, since ever, it's been a long, I think since Gastron has been one of my favorite Pokemon, I haven't played through a Gen 4 game. So hopefully, hopefully it's not a version exclusive because I really want to play Shining Pearl because I, Pokey is my favorite legendary, so. But uh, yeah, anyways, back to the team. The next one up on this list, we are bringing Tinkerbell this week. Um, I don't know if you would expect it, but this thing is to help with, you know, the ground type moves alike from Heatran or from, you know, the, I think Hydreigon gets Earth Power and from the Seismitoad and stuff like that too. Plus it's, it's super effective against, um, the Tangrowth, it's super effective against the Hydreigon and stuff as well. So we have Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, and Roost. I think Follow Me will be nice too, especially since we have a couple Pokemon that, um, would really really benefit from the fact that they didn't get hit that turn um you know black bolt james hatfield luke cage too so um that you know that would be nice d gleam is really only there for the hydreigon air slash is there to hit a lot of stuff super effectively and we are running sculpt lens super luck again so we'll be getting a crit with air slash like 90 percent of the time which is really really cool and then we are running roost too to heal when it gets lower this is our answer to a lot of his mons to resist attacks and we are running a Modest Nature with max special attack, max HP, and the remaining four and speed. Um, as you can see, I am trying to run all offensive this week because, and I'm not investing too much into defensive because we do need the offensive capabilities of our team this week. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're trying to hit a lot of stuff super effectively here. Hopefully this will work out in my benefit. But hopefully we don't have to just kind of sack Tinkerbell, which... Hopefully we don't have to. I'm hoping, you know, if I have to sack it against Heatran, I have to sack it against Heatran, but yeah. So we're running a really cool set with James Hetfield this week. We're running Akaberry, Clear Body with Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch, Topic Cantrum, and Protect. Uh, Meteor Mash is there 
to four is Lele. I mean, we have to bring James for Lele. I mean, we'd be stupid not to. Uh, Bullet Punch is there also just for priority. Stopping Tantrum is there for the Heatron, right? I am running Akaberry because we take, with the Akaberry, we take a, um, we take an eruption and then we can just go for Stomping Tantrum if it's not Air Balloon. Um, which he did bring Air Balloon the first time. You know, if we can get Zeraora in or even like Luke Cage or something to be able to hit it first so we can break the balloon so we then can go for Stomping Tantrum, that would be great. But we have to be able to, we can't let this thing, Akaberry, go before we have the chance to use Stomping Tantrum because Heatran is going to be faster than James. So this is this is a very situational thing, but I think it'll work out really, really well, especially if he brings out Heatran when James is out, and then I just straight up go for a stopping tantrum into it, right? But I don't want to reveal stopping tantrum before, unless I have to before uh, Heatran comes out. But uh, yeah, we are running uh, Jolly Nature though with uh, the speed because this allows us to always outspeed the Heatran, even if it's like max speed um, Jolly as well. So hopefully. This will allow us to um, to hit that super effectively, but uh, we have the 252 EVs in attack, and then we're gonna throw the remaining four in HP. Even though I don't really think that's gonna matter too much, but uh, yeah. So and then protect is there because I think that'll allow us to scope out for certain moves. If he does bring the low pony, which I doubt he will, but because he didn't the first time, and it's really with Mons like Black Bolt and Luke Cage being able to hit it super effectively with fighting day moves. I mean, I, don't, I just don't see him bringing it, but you know, you never know. So there is that. Uh, and then his the last mod up on this team, guys, is Luke Cage, which has definitely been the team MVP this season. Um, Luke Cage has been the MVP, being able to be doing a lot more, but we're running the same set we usually do. Life Orb, Iron Fist, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Ice Punch, and Protect. I was running Protect over Fake Out uh, at the last minute because I want to be able to protect in the face of things just in case because it's not that bulky. Um, I decided to run, you know, Drain Punch and Mock Punch are just there because with Iron Fist, Drain Punch is going to be doing more in close combat and Mock Punch also does a lot. You know, this thing will be being doing super effective damage to Hydreigon as well as um, the uh, Heatran. So and I'm running Ice Punch because not only does it hit, it hits Tangro super effectively, right? Which is a huge thing that I I am I'm worried about. Now I could run Fire Punch. I don't know. I think I will. I think I want to stay with Ice Punch if I can get the 10% freeze. I mean, honestly, Ice Punch is really only there for the Tang Girl. I could just run Fire Punch instead because that's also helps with like the Clef Key and stuff like that. And Thunder Punch would be good for like the Rotom Wash. But honestly, I think we're gonna stick with Ice Punch. Um, hopefully, it doesn't bite me because you know I've run multiple different punches before, but. I think we need to have Drain Punch and Mog Punch, and I think Protect is big too, just to scout for um, certain moves. But uh, yeah, we are running, otherwise we're running the same thing we always do, basically, um, with an Adamant Nature with max attack and max HP with the remaining four in speed. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the team we're bringing against Karanikus and the Miami Magikarps in the first week of the and playoffs of the MPBA. So we're going to get right into the battle, guys. Um, like I said, I really hope that we can pick up a win this week. But um, if we can't, it is all right. You know, I, at this point, I'm just... If we can't, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Even if we win the, the second two, which there is... Well, the guy we're going up against next week is number two in the league. Only lost one battle, and he's actually the one person that we haven't battled yet. Now, our battle for... I didn't mention this at the beginning, but our battle this week against Sewage Rat and, and the New York Noy Bats for last week was voided since we're, we were the only ones to get a battle done. So that whole battle doesn't count, which is fine with me. But um, we do battle him again uh, the week after for the last week of the playoffs. So hopefully, if, if we can win this one and we can win that one, um, as long as he's not Bright Powder... Uh, whatever ability he was... Whatever it is, it's not Ice Body, it's a Snow Cloak. Um, as long as he's not that again, we should be alright. But uh, yeah, guys, so that's the team. Um, good luck to, to future me, and hopefully we can pick up a win. But uh, we'll see We'll see how it goes, but I'll see you guys in the battle. Alright, guys, so here we are in the battle. Um, really nervous about this. Uh, like I said, we did win this battle before. 
So it, that does prove that it is possible to win it again. Um, we just have to make sure that we play it the right way. Um, of course, just like I said in the team builder, I do believe that he's going to bring a slightly the same team as he is now. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to wait for him to challenge me and then we'll be ready. All right, so he sent me a battle request, guys. Let's get into it. Hopefully we can pick up a win like we did before. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it is like the same team that he brought at the time. Like, it is the same team. I don't know if he brought Lopany the first time. Um, I feel like we could go Black Bolt, right? We could just, obviously, we could just lead Black Bolt. Um, we do have the fake up. We don't really have fake up potential too much on this team. Did I? I did not. Okay. I give it protect over fake out. Um... If he leads Klefiki, Klefiki Seismitoad like he did before, then we go Let's go Slimy Slime and we'll go James, I think. I think that's a good okay, so he does lead Klefiki and Lopunny. Now Lopunny does get Um fake out. So, and guess what? We're not running a ground tank move on Slimy Slime this week. Okay, um. Let me, let me, let me just. Let me, let me just, uh. Okay, I need to check. Does Lopunny somehow get a grass site move? I don't believe it does. Um. I don't think it does. Uh, I should probably... Let's... Uh, don't really want to sec. I feel bad if I do it. But I'm just going to go for a Hydro Pump in the Lopunny. We're going to go for a Protect here on a potential Fighting type move. Reflect. Drain Punch. Alright. Alright. So there is that. Um, he has Drain Punch. So if we... Could try to go. I think I go for. I think we double now. If he goes for another drain punch. I think we double into weed whacker. And I think going for a bullet punch. I am max attack. I think bullet punch might be enough. Is it? It is not. Oh no. U turn. Okay, U turn. It's not. Not awful. We do have stopping tantrum on James. So. He just goes, he goes Heatran. Shoot. Um. I have to. Dang it, I think I have to go back into Slimy Slime here. And I think we go. Yeah, I think I have to go, I think we have to double back into Slimy Slime, and I'm going to protect here, because he's obviously going for the Eruption, um, or a Heat Wave. He goes for a Flash Cannon. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go for a Recover here. No, 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 I can't. I feel like, let's go for an Ice Beam. And, because I, I want to break his balloon. Uh, actually, I think we just go for a Hydro Pump here. And I think we, I think we double, double into Tinker, maybe. Oh, the Tinker's going to be great here. I think we're going to go into Toge Kiss. I'm a little nervous. Oh, he goes into Rotom Wash. Flash Cannon. Oh, I got this special defense drop. Um, now I think I just go for a recover and we go for a, uh, he's going to go for flash cannon. So we go back, go weed whacker here. I think we go weed whacker. <clears throat> Please don't have rain dance. 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 Okay. 
goes Lele. She gets up the psychic terrain. <clears throat> he does go for a flash cannon, and we go, we get a recover off. Which now Lele does get a grass type move. Let's protect here. And And then what? Do we double into James maybe? Or do I go? I don't know if I want to go. I think we go Tinker again. <clears throat> I think we go Tinker again on a potential. Okay, so Psychic and Psychic Terrain. Flash Cannon. Um, <clears throat> I think we double again. <laughs> he, he won't let me get into the... He won't let me get into... Uh, uh, the right Pokemon. Which, if he goes for another Psychic, if we go back into Weed Whacker here. And I don't want to reveal. If he goes for another Flash Cannon. Let's just go Luke. Oh, please don't go for a Psychic into the wrong Mon. Please don't go for a Psychic into the wrong Mon. Okay, good. Oh, that did a lot. That did a lot, a lot. Um... Let's ally switch and he didn't bring the Hydreigon, so no. Um, I feel like we trick. I want to trick into Clefiki here if I can. And then I think we double. If he tries to go for a Psychic, going back into James, I think might be our best bet. He doesn't. Flash Cannon. Um, okay, Reflect goes off. Um, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go Black Bolt here. And... What I could do is I could go for a Thunderbolt on top of Lele, but if he goes, um, let's, what if I just go for Grass Knot predicting, let's go for a Grass Knot into Lele, I'm going to predict it, I'm going to predict it, and we're going for a Stop and Cancer Minute Clefiki, oh, yes, wait, yes, good, great, 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 phenomenal, Grass Knot, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. That did not do it as much as I was hoping. And... Um... I have to double back out, especially if he goes for... That did nothing against that Rotom. Which tells me he's like... Really, he's running really bulky. Rotom. I feel like if I just were specs. Ah. Uh, I think I gotta go slimy slime here. And I'm just gonna go for another protect. See what he wants to do. If he wants to go for a shadow ball. So you wanna go for a shadow ball? He goes for a shadow ball. It's what I thought. Um <clears throat> he just took something. Um, hmm, okay, maybe, maybe I double back into Black Bolt, and then I double into Tinker as well, to take this, this is not shaping up, that heat train is still a really, really massive threat. Oh my god, no! Um, do I just go for the Thunderbolt? I think we go for a Thunderbolt here. And I'm gonna go for a Roost. I mean, you're 298. 97. Oh, I gotta. <clears throat> no! 
No! Man, why am I not Fire Punch on Luke Cage? This is like the perfect punch for, place for me to be that. God, this sucks. Um, I ran Ice Punch over Thunder Punch or Fire Punch. That's what I need here. Ah, we gotta go Slimy Slime. And I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt into Klefiki, expecting him to double into Seismitoad. Where I am gonna go for a Hydro Pump, I guess. Those for Protect. Doesn't matter. Man, that Reflect is really doing work for him here. <clears throat> um, now, we just do the same thing. We just do the same thing here. These are our biggest players right now. And they're still on the field. Which is nice. And they're both decently healthy. Yeah. <clears throat> please, 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 please. Just, ah! Uh, Black Bolt. Come on, KO. It doesn't get the KO. I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt on the Rotom here. And I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump on Klefiki. Okay, so the Rotom's gone. I feel like we get the KO on Klefiki as well. <clears throat> Which this is really good. Reflect only has one more turn. We outspeed everything on his team with Black Bolt here. Um, <clears throat> if he could go into... See, the thing is, is that I don't know if he knows that I'm Specs. So... I mean, I kind of have to go. I mean, Luke's not really great here, but is for that. I think we have to go James here. And if I want to do anything, and I think I have to go for a Hydro Pump into the Tapu Lele. <clears throat> Honestly, it's a Seismitoad. Seismitoad is going to knock off. It does a decent amount. Um, I have to go for a Meteor Mat. Oh, I could just go for a Protect. Maybe he has Shadow Ball. And we're just going to go for a Recover again here. Oh man, this is actually, this is turning out to be a really good battle, but that Heatran and the Seismitoad are huge. Oh no! I have to go back into Black Bolt here, and my biggest thing here is if, is if I go just straight up go for a Meteor Mash, I'm going to go for the Aura Sphere into Seismitoad, predicting... Predicting the switch into Heatran. Oh, and he's faster with Lele. That does get the KO, but... The thing... Oh, man! I don't think that... I mean, I can just go for a Drain Punch into Heatran here. We should be faster, right? I'm Oh no, we're not even faster. Damn. Oh my god, it doesn't even get the KO. Poison Jab. I think I have to mock Punch on the Heatran here. This is, I mean, we're just going to be going for Differential at this point. Losing Rotom was huge, I think. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh god. Let's protect. Oh my god. Rest? Are you... Yo, I gotta go for another Drain Punch, but... Wow. Why is that doing so little now? I have to just... Get the crit, get the crit, get the crit, get the crit, get the crit. Get the crit, Luke. Luke, Luke get the... Get the crit! Oh... He doesn't even get the crit. Ah. Uh, dang it. We're going to go for... Oh, and he wakes up. And he just rests again. Come on, man. Ah, oh, come on, man. I just wanted it. 
Oh, I just wanted the KO on Beatran, man. Oh. I just wanted... I just wanted that Heatran KO. I just wanted that Heatran KO, but he wouldn't let me have it. Yeah. All right, GG's. Um. Uh, all right, well, at this point, guys, there's I really highly doubt there's any way for us to make the semifinals. Um, I'm going to try my best, but these next two weeks are going to be rough. So um, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button down below. I'm going to try my best. We're going to fight hard. And uh, yeah, but... um. Other than that, guys, that is going to be for me. So like I say at the end of every video, I am the Nitro General. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Nitro General is out. Peace.